I've learned a lot over the four decades of health and fitness and being in the trenches with the greatest in the world. And one of those things I've learned a lot more about and how to build better muscle is nutrition and how it has changed over the decades. And that's why I have the Titan meal plan for you guys out there that are confused about nutrition. I'm going to set you straight. Get a hold of me today. The link will be in the comments down below for you guys. Everybody, get over to the Titan Meal Plan, and I'll see you in the Titan Crew, where I will fine-tune any difficulties that you're having. I love that yeah. you think of it as a art, yeah. and I, I think we all kind of agree with that. That yeah. I, there's sports and stuff, but this is definitely an art to me, I believe, because um, you can have two guys that work out. Well, every, every sport works out. Um, but then we, we just fine tune those little details and you can yeah, put that yeah, physique right. on stage. Yeah. And again, to me, one of my favorites, again, walking up there and, and Clark's the same way is like, yeah. you guys, both bodies are just art pieces. And it's cool that uh, when it comes to health and fitness, and we say this over and over again, it's repetitive and an echo, is that everything that you have today is still earned. You never, you never phoned it in. You never called it quits. You never said, okay, that's enough. I competed here. I'm focused on other stuff. I never, and it seems as though you guys are the same way. You never got to the point of going, okay, I'm good. I'm done with that part. Let me move on. Because I think, and if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, that we understand that that peacefulness or that warrior mentality that we need to train and we need to have that battle and we need to stay precise on the nutrition and eat healthy is not just the fact of us getting on stage or the covers. That's cool. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. But it's about living that full life and being able to yeah. express that yeah. inner spirit that we have. Yeah. My, right. Is this similar? Is it not similar? Yeah. What do you guys believe? Yeah. That's the thin line between the significance and contribution. So it's like uh, sometimes people want to look good just because they want to get a significancy, like they need uh, people to be, they want to yeah. be appreciated. Yeah, which is, which is nice, which is fine. But there's a thin line, it's also is contribution to yourself also. So that's why the answer is like, you're the one that, that know the, the answer. Because it's the same thing also when you try to do good to others, for example, you want to give people money. There's a thin line between the significancy and contribution. Like you want to be looked as a kind person or you just want to be kind to others because you want to contribute to yourself. So I think that's what bodybuilding wow. is all yeah. about. That was beautifully put. And I love that you, you said something for, for me is that you said the individual will know the difference. You know, yeah. you know and, and we yeah. see that in society today. We see the people that are going, mm -hmm. uh, I support this. I'm donating money to this. And like you said, it's a thin line. They're doing it so they look yeah. to the rest of the world that we're yeah. good. Yeah. And then which there's the individual, which is, which is, which which is, is okay, <laughs> it helps, it helps. But then it's the fine line of the person that does it and is not looking for the appreciation yeah. or the, the because praise. Because they need to feel the needs of contribution from yourself. Yeah, That's yeah. a great way to look at it. And, and we talk about uh, what's the difference between motivation and passion. We're passionate about it, so we don't need somebody else to motivate us. Yeah. And, and is, is, am I correct on that? Is yeah. that we find that within ourselves because we yeah. ask ourselves those questions? Yeah. yeah. You know, with what you said earlier about why we do this for the covers and for the bodybuilding, that's, that's ancillary to, one, the pride that we get from maintaining a level of conditioning that the majority of people don't. But also with respect to what I'm facing right now in my life, being fit and healthy is a great place to be when you come up against something like I have going on. It, it could be a lot different if I wasn't in shape, if I didn't go into the gym every day when I wasn't preparing for a bodybuilding show or a cover shoot or to show off how I look. This is now really a matter of how well I'm going to be able to move through the next few months of my life and, and get on the other side of what it is I'm going through. So you okay talking about that? Absolutely. This right yeah, I, I, would yeah. like I just to didn't want to sidetrack it with that. That's all. I would like to talk. I don't know how much you know about what Clark's dealing with right now. Um, but I would you like you to talk about this for a second, because I'd like to also get, uh, life's not easy. 
It's not easy for anybody. I've never met somebody that has had a, a cakewalk life and never had ups and downs. I've had my downs and Clark was there for me when I was at my lowest. Uh, I'd love to hear after Clark talks about what's going on it is if you had and you would want to talk about it, a downtime to where you pulled yourself or you had friends around you. Yeah. But explain where you're battling right now. So you follow my stuff. You know I have cancer now and it's it's something that I'm managing by becoming more focused on what we've all done for our entire lives. That's training. The number one thing I can do to address this situation in a thoughtful way is to get stronger, to get leaner, to be focused on what I'm eating, to be focused on what I'm thinking and my consistency in the gym and being coachable. So I've hired somebody to give me all of the information I need. Mm -hmm. And because I'm a Marine, I listen and I do. You're an artist, you listen and you do. You're a martial artist, you listen and you do. You've got the same background and all. we are people who share information and expect people to do X, Y, and Z to get a result. But we're also receiving that information from people who we trust in our lives to give us direction. And that's really where I'm at. I know that the number one thing I can do is just be as fit as possible. And that discipline helps create a better mindset to go through this. In, in your quiet times, you can have weird conversations in your head of all of this. And, and I don't. I don't at all because I've disciplined myself over the years, much like both of you have, with regards to how I'm going to think about what's next for me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to have prepared myself for this moment in time. If you are confused about training, do not worry. That's what the Titan training plan is for. For you guys to subscribe to this plan, you also get the additional coaching from me in the Titan private group. Get in there today, and I cannot wait to start working with you and making your dreams come true. Let's get back to the show. Any downtimes? Any any rough patches? Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially just lately, actually. It's uh, during COVID, I think. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody have. Uh, I think everybody's uh, was suffering during COVID, including us also. Um, I actually I lost everything, you know. Uh, no saving, uh, business, uh, and uh, the ultimate is uh, I losing the loved one. I lost my mom also during mm -hmm. COVID. So I mean, it's just like, uh, I mean, like, uh, yeah. But to me, I mean, I always feels like. Uh, this is what I'm trying to say. It's like, uh, if you're aware that you are crazy, that means you're not crazy. <laughs> if you're aware that you are stressed, that means you're not stressed. If you're aware that you are suffer, that means you're not suffer. So I think I'm suffer so much until I realize that I can see myself suffering. So when I see myself suffering means like myself is an object. I'm a subject. So subject and object is different. So that's why at least at that time I feel like, oh, I can still see that. I still have that awareness. So I think I'm, I'm fine, I guess. Yeah. So uh, since my mom died, I, I associate that as like a miracle because it seems like suddenly my life is like just like this, probably because of, I don't know, pray from my mom for me, I guess. So uh, since then, I mean, like a lot of oppor opportunity here and there and everything. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I I mean, everybody have their own journey. So I mean, I never bragging about like I mean like uh, past is a uh, history tomorrow is a mystery I mean it's like uh, so I mean like yeah I just just learn from from your past I mean like uh, you appreciate your 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 history and everything I don't want to use that as a like a, like an excuse or whatever but at the same time it's just like uh, give me strength you know, I mean, like it's it's just like you you get mature by, yeah, you know. I mean, like yeah, you get wise when you're. It's not like just like you learn to be wise. It's just like you you earn it. Yeah. Know? 
So it's the it's the same thing also. I love how he talks. I, I, I love his approach. Oh no, I love it. It's it. You'd mentioned earlier. It's like a peaceful warrior. Yeah, and it, it's not put on. It's not some fake thing. It's it's really who he is. And one thing with respect to what you said earlier about when he walked out on stage, I had the same experience, even watching him on TV, because back then this was on ESPN, it was a big deal. <laughs> yeah. But how you would come out with homage to your culture, wearing the traditional- Homage <laughs> is respect. There's respect or, and appreciation uh, appreciate. for, and kind of like, like this is who I am. And I, I've always loved that about you because it changes the energy completely, <clears throat> completely. Because typically, you know, in our Western culture, it's a bunch of guys coming out there and showing off. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, the energy can get ugly at times. And, and I don't want you to feel like we're just building you up and saying a bunch of stuff to make you feel good. This is all authentic, real. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. When you walk out on the stage with that, and, and the first thing you do is this, and then you go into it, the music, the whole entire presentation in art form that you've created, because it goes beyond a pose and transitioning into the next pose and all of what everybody does. It's the music, it's the walkout, it's the clothing, it's the respect, and it's the energy that's coming out of you that changes the energy in the entire room that makes everybody look back at themselves and go, wow, I can act different right now. I don't need to act like I'm Arnold trying to psych everybody out, like I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm better, and this and that. It's really cool. I, I just appreciate it. Keep there for a second because of the fact that he, he agreed and I was in the audience. You guys were back there competing, but I was in the audience and it did, the room changed. Um, and it did change, not just because of the physique that he had. Trust, we both, all of us know we've seen some incredible physiques. But we've also realized that, that, that the individuals that come out there with those physiques, some didn't have that it factor or a, a, a soul that uh, radiated. And this is what you're speaking about. It radiated who he was as an individual. And again, I know, I know we're putting him over, but if you guys would understand it's not all about the physique. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not. It's not about the who's the best built guy, who's the strongest guy, who's the best look. There's such an uh, entity and, and, and a power to that inner spirit that we talk about, that whole, and I try to say it, the peaceful warrior attitude of these individuals, that you just feel the person walk in the room and go, I like this, whatever this energy is, this is lighting up the room. And, and that's what I felt from you. That's what I felt from you. And that's what this uh, individuals that I try to bring on here, it's just a little bit more of, it's not the physique. It's not the weights that you move. It's it's not that if you're the baddest guy in the world, it's just that, that spiritual, that person and how they carry themselves. It's just a little bit more. And I wish people would understand that. Cause like you said, when you walk out, on some shows, it's it's ugly and it's it's rough. Yeah, uh, and then you get that individual that comes out there, and I maybe that individual is just at peace with who he is, and he knows who he is. And you said something earlier, and you said you can see yourself, which makes you still. I, and and I think the big reason, and, and if I took this away correctly, I don't want to say this is what you're saying, but individuals get blinded and hyped by their own press, mm -hmm. and they believe their own hype. And they're not really seeing themselves. They're seeing the hype around them. And they believe, oh, I am this guy. I am just powerful and famous and rich and all this. And it's like, well, you don't see yourself. Because, yes, you're all those things, but you're also an asshole.